Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 25 days to go into math exam, so you're doing really, really well going through these videos. We're three quarters done, so well done if you've watched all the videos so far. Today, there's 25 days to go. Today, we're going to be focused on trig graphs, so graphs of trigonometric functions. So graphs such as y equals sine x, y equals cos x, and y equals tan x. So in this video, we're going to go through those graphs, what they look like, and some typical questions that you might encounter. So feel free to press pause to jot down what the graphs look like. If you've got those window pens, write them on your window. If you're making a cheat sheet, make sure you put those on the cheat sheet, because remember, it's important to spot what those graphs look like as well. And, uh, and we'll have to look at some questions as well. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at our graphs of trigonometric functions, or our trig graphs. So we've looked at trigonometry already, so we've been working out the sines of the causes and the tans of various angles. Now let's have a look at their graphs. So if we've got the graph y equals sine x, so it looks something like this. So if we do the sine of 0, we get 0. If we do the sine of 90 degrees, we get 1. The sine of 180 degrees is equal to 0. The sine of 270 degrees is equal to negative 1. And the sine of 360 degrees is equal to 0, and so on. So it looks something like this. So it's got this shape here. So this is the graph of y equals sine x. And it's important to know what the shape of it looks like. It's important to know that the sine of 0 is 0, the sine of 90 is equal to 1, and so on. And it has this shape. So that's the graph of y equals sine x. And I remember, if you've got your window pens, jot on your window so you recognize this graph. So you look at the shape of it, and you know, oh, that's the graph of y equals sine x and so on. And so get your window pens, jot on your window. So if you've got your cheat sheet, then write on your cheat sheet and so on. Or this is a court master revision card. That's an important revision card for you. They're with the trig graphs. So you can look at these trig graphs and know what each one of them looks like. So that's the graph of y equals sine x. Okay, now let's have a look at the cos graph or the cosine graph, y equals cos x. So the cos of zero is equal to one. The cos of 90 degrees is equal to zero. The cos of 180 degrees is equal to negative one. The cos of 270 degrees is equal to zero. And the cos of 360 60 degrees equal to 1. And the cos graph has this shape. It starts off at 1 and goes down to 0, down to negative 1, up to 0, and up to 1, and so on, and just carries on. So that's the graph of y equals cos x. And again, it's important to know what that one looks like. Okay, next, our tan graph, the graph of y equals tan x. So it starts at 0. The tan of 0 is 0. And then as you do the tan of 45 degrees, that's equal to 1. Then as you do the tan of numbers that approach 90, they get very large. If you do, the, for instance, the tan of 89.9, see what that is in your calculator. I'm actually just going to do it now myself. The tan of 89.9 is equal to 572.95 and so on. So the graph's going to shoot up. And then if you do the tan of 90 degrees, you get a math error. That means it's undefined. So there is no tan of 90 degrees. So that's what we call an asymptote. There's no values at 90 degrees. And then if you do the tan of, for instance, 91, the tan of 91, that's equal to negative 57 and so on. So the graph comes up and it comes up all the way to whenever you did the tan of 180 degrees, that's equal to zero. And then as you do the tan of numbers above 180 degrees, it gets higher and higher and higher and so on. Then we've got another asymptote of 270 degrees. If you do the tan of 270 degrees, again, you get a math error and so on. So this is the graph of y equals tan x. So it looks something like this. So it starts at 0, 0 and curves upwards. And then at 90 degrees, an egg has an asymptote. And then it comes up to 0 again at 180 degrees and curves upwards and another asymptote. And then it comes up to 360 degrees and 0. So that's the graph of y equals tan x. So there are graphs of trigonometric functions, y equals tan x y equals cos x and y equals tan x and it says it's important to know the shapes of them to know the key points on them and to be able to recognize each one of those trig graphs okay let's have a look at a question now for you to try yourself so here we've got the graph of y equals cos x so this is the cos graph can you write down the coordinates of the point a and the coordinates of the point b so press pause now and to write down the coordinates of the point a and the coordinates of the point b Okay, so in terms of point A, well, so obviously with the cos graph, y equals cos x, the cos of 0 is equal to 1. So it starts at 0, 1, so at 0, 1 there. And then it curves down to this point here at A, and that's going to be 90, 0. So the cos of 90 degrees is equal to 0. So the coordinates of point A would be 90, 0. And that's it. That's the coordinates of that point. Okay, next, if we carry on, we've got B here. Well, that's going to be 180 degrees, negative 1. So that's the coordinates of point B, 180 degrees, negative 1. And if you write down the coordinates of those two points, well done. Okay, now let's have a look at another question. Okay, let's have a look at another question for you to try. So we were told, shown below are three graphs for x is bigger than or equal to 270 degrees and less than or equal to 360 degrees. So as you see, part of the graphs have been drawn. So graph one, here's part of the graph. Graph two, there's part of the graph. And graph three, there's part of that graph. And we've been asked which of the graphs is the y equals sine x graph, which of the graphs is the cos graph, and which of the graphs is the tan graph. So feel free to press pause and to work this out. Okay, so let's have a look at our graphs. Well, straight away, the one I'm looking at is this one here. Because if we go back to our trig graphs, 
the one for y equals sine x and y equals cos x, they go between 1 and negative 1. So they just go up to 1, down to negative 1, up to 1, down to negative 1, and so on. And the cos graphs go starts at 1, goes down to 0, negative 1, up to 0, up to 1, and so on. But if we have a look here, this graph 1, it actually goes down below negative 1 and carries on. So that means that this one must be the tan graph, because the other two graphs must be in between 1 and negative 1 in terms of their heights. So this graph must be the tan graph. So let's just sketch the tan graph. Let's just you just complete the graph. So it's going to start at zero and it's going to shoot up like so. There's an asymptote at 90 degrees. Okay, next we'd have another asymptote at 270 degrees. And you can see that's why the graph doesn't actually cross 270 degrees. Actually, the asymptote is not very good. I'm actually going to draw two better asymptotes there. Okay, and let's now sketch this part here where it comes up to 180 degrees and zero and then curves up again. And that's it. That's the tan graph. So which graph is the graph of y equals tan x? That's going to be graph one. So graph one. Okay, now we've got two other graphs. So one of them is going to be the sine graph and one's going to be the cos graph. Well, let's actually complete the graphs. So let's actually complete this one. We can see it curves there. So it's then going to carry on to there, up to one and down to zero. Because it starts at the origin, that's the sine graph. And let's just have a look at this one. This one's going to come down to 180 degrees and negative one. And then it's going to come up through 90 and zero and then to zero one, like so. So this is the cos graph and this is the sine graph. This is y equals cos x. This is y equals sine x. And this is the graph of y equals tan x. And that's it. So the question says, which graph is graph of y equals sine x? That's going to be graph three. And which graph is the cos graph? That's going to be, gra that's going to be graph two. And if you got that, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've gone through the graphs of the trigonometric functions, y equals sine x, y equals cos x, and y equals tan x. And it's important to know what those graphs look like. So remember to write them on your cheat sheet, put them on your windows using your window pens, or you could learn the points and get someone to quiz you on them, or you could just learn them and sketch them and so on. So they're the trig graphs, the trig graphs of the trigonometric functions, and they're important to learn. And uh, hopefully that's been useful for you. And that's it. So in this video, we've gone through the trig functions with the graphs of them. If you've got the code Miles Revision card, card number 39 will be a useful one for you as well. So keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. There's 25 days to go, or three quarters done, a quarter more, and then you're gonna be doing that first paper. So good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow at three o'clock for the next video. Cheers, bye.